Hey guys, how's it going? It's Canadian Gear Addict coming at you with another video today. What it is, another Ruger AR556 upgrade video. So, <clears throat> sorry, I'll be drinking a lot of water. I got a stupid tickle in my throat and I hate it. Um, what I'll be doing uh, here today is, um, with all your suggestions and stuff, I decided to go with the Hogue collapsible stock. Uh, to match the whole grip. Did I get it so it can match? No, no not really. Uh, I had a friend get it and said it's really cool. So I found this for a great price. Uh, Black Friday deals. And it arrived. So I thought, hey, why not install it? So we're going to put that to the side. So as you can tell, the stock one I just don't like. It's very cheap feeling. It wobbles like crazy. Hopefully the new one will not do that, but we'll see. Um, and this is not really going to be a how-to. Well, I guess it can be because I'm going to do it live here, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go ahead with that. And we are going to take this one off. So if you guys don't know how to take the stock one off, um, as you press down on this, um, that's how you collapse it. To take it off, you're going to press the other way. Um, all the way, actually. So you're going to extend it all out. Hopefully, yeah, you can see that. And you're gonna, I'm gonna apply slight pressure backwards and press this all the way down, and this should come off. And it is. There you go. And the uh, Ruger uh, AR556, the stock tube, anyway, is mil spec. So this is a mil spec uh, butt pad. So we are going to slip her on here. A lot of people say this is super tight to begin with, and it is. So that's great. Now, with this one, you have to pull these tabs down, kind of like a mag pull. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this totally with my fingers. Probably not. So what I like to do, without marring it, is get a little flathead. I got this little guy. And it's not recommended, but hey, it works. And these tabs here, you're going to pull it all the way down. And if you pull on one side, the other side follows suit. So you're going to pull it all the way down. There we go. And just gonna want to get it started on the first one and I think I got it and there we go I did whoa this has no wiggle to it nothing and the way it achieves that unlike the Magpul ones uh, I know like my STR has a friction lock and all that um, this it's called over mold for over mold for a reason Hogue calls all that stuff that is because it has plastic underneath and then this rubber over mold on top um, this is the stock, by the way, if you wanted a close-up look of it. I think it's nice. Uh, this isn't super soft rubber, but it's soft enough. It's got three QD points, another uh, sling points here, sling points there. Um, let's see how tight, oh, this is tight. You can tell this is brand new, and the way it locks up, sorry, to get back to that, is I should have showed you before, but inside of here, there's two rails that, that clinch onto here, that have the over mold in it as well. So it grabs onto the buffer tube real well. And there's slight, like I mean very slight movement when it's up against my shoulder with the cheek weld. Yeah, it doesn't move at all. Unlike the stock one, the stock one's got a lot of movement. So if you can see down those rails there, there we go. Right down those rails there, this has rubber in it. The the Hulk one, not the stock, uh, the stock uh, M4 style. So, uh, I love it. It's great. Is it lighter? I don't know. They seem almost the same, which is hilarious. But uh, the Ruger stock set is nice. There's the logos, by the way. I told you about. Ruger stamps everything, which is kind of cool. Anyways, guys, that is that. Um, I like it. We're going to put the upper on and see how she feels. But I like it so far. Thanks for all the suggestions. What made a close second is the MOE SL, the new slimline. Uh, that's a nice stock as well. Um, come on. Uh, that one I liked a lot as well. Why am I having troubles? What's wrong with me today? There we go. Um, it's just I went with this because I just did. So, oh, I can't get the front one. What a pain. Uh, here we go. Um, yeah, so that's what made the cut. So how does she feel? We're going to zoom out here. So obviously with my length of pull, I go all the way back. Oh yeah, me likey. It is 
Rob, really? It's your first time? There we go. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. It's great. So, there we go, guys. There's the Hogue Overmold installed. And uh, I think it looks good, too. Let me know what you guys think. All right. See ya.